So gang, let's do a comic book haul. Okay, let's do a comic book haul, but it's not a comic book haul. It's a trading card haul. Okay, it's a trading card haul, but it's not these guys. It's not these guys. Okay, we're calling the comic book haul because it's Eclipse Comics trading cards, right? These are Eclipse Comics, right? And this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to read part three of this, cards number 25 to 36 today. But we got a box and I tore off the address and stuff on here and it really sucks that the person sent this in this because you can still smell <laughs> no bad man all the God. smell like dish soap stuff on this right because it's finish powerball this is not advertisement and I would never use this in my laundry and never have and uh no one in the family ever uses these things and i highly recommend that you do not use these things these are not very healthy for you from under what i understand uh wodonga life hey fella queensland oh queensland australia old australia queensland australia australia is uh, let's see where it goes let's see where it goes man it was pretty draconian canada is maybe going in a better direction canada is still going draconian right paul i'll stick to your clothes <laughs> yeah this stuff i don't know about this stuff man so gang let me tell you what's uh what we bought this thing for this thing total cost 170 dollars canadian 170 canadian okay it was 25 dollars shipping and 24 dollars taxes canadian taxes right i bought it from a canadian seller so i'm gonna get dinged with taxes i decided to go with a canadian seller because it was selling a lot and i wouldn't get dinged with extra taxes at the border coming in from the united states it's still 14 percent tax 14 percent tax on a used item used item from 30 years ago if i decide to sell this again there'll be at least 14 percent tax so who knows how many times tax has been collected on this item that is the world we live in right now right so total for this 220 dollars canadian and that comes out to multiply by 75 150 probably around 160 dollars us okay let's crack this baby open let's crack this baby open and i don't have these oh no let me rephrase i'll show you uh, i do have something of this Man, I should have put it in a shoebox or something. Let's check it out. <laughs> Stinky stinky. Check it out. Exactly. Cards, right? Non sports trading cards. Aldega, want to guess what cards? You want to guess what cards they are? We talked for this not a sponsor dangerous as marchicho can you recommend the good way of washing clothes uh just the or like non-chemically organic we buy like non-stinky odor free just regular like the simplest stuff you can imagine just put a little scoop in and wash it right and i'm from a guy like i stopped using like underarm deodorants and stuff people are gonna go i can see the memes coming or comments coming but i haven't used underarm deodorant like to take away natural bodily smell for 25 years at least right at least elder god knows where it's at <laughs> serial killers trading cards exactly nice 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 check this out <clears throat> check this out check this out check this out uh never uh, uh 1907 first time that chicho where, where do you get your information from i've seen some of your videos on youtube i want to know where you get uh come to our discord server uh, come to our discord server and we link up a lot of information uh on there um i haven't put out a video regarding um you know my 
most recent news sources but there's a lot that we link there it's just not me it's other people linking as well okay uh so check this out check this out actually it's not bad putting it in these things a little check this out we lost a little thing majiggy for the box these things here i'm gonna put this guy here series two series one let's crack this one open too all right ah. Gilded. Oh yeah, did I say not and say Discord? Did I gilded server? Discord commit a suicide and secure cell, yeah. Random random moose brain salutations. Hope you're doing well. Let me take off the gilded server thing, bring up the sensor to chat. hope you're doing well can you talk a bit about what happened uh, with uh, Julia Timo is that uh, Navarni's wife is that Navarni's wife gang take a look at this okay let me show you this uh, so these guys I'm gonna change the view I'm gonna change the view okay these are the true crime uh, let me change the view on here change the view check this out these are the true crime trading cards that came out from eclipse comics these ones um, the serial killers right true crime serial killers okay there's four sets total okay these two are together what's going on Oh, these guys slum gangs there there's four sets that came out each set was 55 cards so each one of these is supposed to not each one of these each complete set is supposed to be hold on let me change this back each complete set is supposed to be 220 cards right so there's four times 220 cards here now i mentioned that at the time I did buy some of these cards when they came out because some of the comic book stores weren't carrying it because it was serial killers it was taboo and stuff like this so this is what the packs look like I, I could only find three in my collection right these were the true crime uh, trading cards right that's where these guys came from these guys right and I ended up having a box as well uh, I'm not sure how I got this box. Maybe the comic book store owner gave it to me or I bought a box of these things. I can't remember, right? And this is the back of the box, right? So true crime trading cards, uh, blah, 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 all that information, right? That's what these cards are. And it's got, let's see, Charles Manson and all that jazz, right? G Men and Gangsters Series 2. So, this is Series 1 and Series 2. The box for Series 1 and Series 2. Looks like it. Series 2 G Men and Gangsters. Okay. And so, on this side is Serial Killers and Mass Murderers. Text by Valerie Jones and Peggy Collar. And then this is Series 2 G Men and Gangsters. Text by Max Allen, Collins, and George Hungles, whatever. Art by Paul Lee. And the art on this one, Series 1, is John Bright. 
right? So that's the box, and these are what the individual packs look like. Okay, I don't know if I have any more of these. I, you know, I would have to check. These are the only ones that I, you know, at the time when I did some organizing, I found some. But let's. Um, the kicker here is, this should be four sets complete, and we're seeing. Take a look. Doing. Let me bring up the chat. Uh, there's three of these ones. I'm assuming it's just organized that way. Series two. Kiss. No. Okay. The 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 sticker here says kiss, so it's not kiss. Okay. And then there's one of these. So I'll have to go through these. And then there is two of these ones with Al Capone, right? So I'm assuming. Hold on, let's bring out. Let's take a look at. Too bad they're not. Uh, so I would have to. Yeah, check this out. This is card number 111 and goes all the way to card 220. They look to be in order, which is great. I'll have to check these. 220. All right. Got feel committee. Look at this. Beautiful artwork. Right. Uh, Pontus on Pontus Hagvar on sensor tube you're asking me about Navarni if you come to our twitch live stream in the command if you type in exclamation mark Navarni an automatic message will come up and uh, it sends you to an article that Scott Ritter just put out this morning I skimmed through it I know a little bit about Navarni but I'm not uh, you know I didn't look into him too much because from what I understand he wasn't a huge significant as you know the Western world likes to say that he was Putin's major political rival but he wasn't he wasn't really well known uh, in Russia uh, he ran for mayor of Moscow and I think he only got like 5% of the vote or something like this oh this that little thing that we had was broken from here okay I'm gonna have to organize these a little bit better put them now so that's that this seems to be the same this seems to be the same so I got a feeling the guy didn't send me oh no so this has got to be so that's 110 serial killers murderers who done it so I'm just assuming this is out of order so it's each one of these contains two sets so I'm assuming this guy is the same as these ones Okay, so let's check this out. Let's crack this one open and make sure. Okay. That's card number one. So what's Al Capone then? So card number one here is slum gangs, right? Ooh, let's see slum gangs the roots of organized crime beautiful artwork look at that like jeez look at this really nice artwork beautiful yeah real xenomorph that's the article i put in for uh, uh what do you call it on uh, twitch that links it up to that article that i posted on our gilded server right so that's card number one so i'm assuming this one al capone is not card number one okay how do we open this there we go so this is card number seven okay cool this is card number one and i'm assuming card number seven is here it is going to be al capone if we put it in order card number three four five there it is 
Al Capone. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming these aren't in order. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Five. Six. Nice. And then this is going to be card number eight. I hope it is card number eight. Right? So this one, Al Capone, belongs at card number seven. Cool. So that's what's going on. Okay. These are really tight. Okay, let's rearrange this as well. Why not? And uh, I have no idea if we're ever going to get a chance to read all of these. But card number one, nice. Nice. So we have card number four. There you go. See that? So card number seven, Al Capone belongs there and since Al Capone is out let's see what it says for Al Capone right true, true crime Al Capone so set number one and two are cars number one to 110 or 109 109 I think it'd be 109 no, 110. And then set three and four are cars number 111 to 220, right? So Al Capone, Alphonse Capone grew up in Brooklyn. Should we read this? Let's read this game. Let's do a little, we'll pull this segment out. Okay. So this is a comic book. I'm going to make sure I don't lose uh organize these oh yeah these guys belong with this one these guys are over here we've got four sets of these and these are the true crime check this out see that al capone uh wanted true crime trading cars serial killers g-men gangsters and mass murderers right and i bought this box and I, or i got this box and bought some packs back in the day in early 1990s when they first came out okay but i never had a complete set right and the reason i bought these mainly is because some comic shops weren't carrying them because you know they thought it was inappropriate so for me uh not liking censorship i decided to i must have them okay so these ones what i just did was just bought four complete sets of series one two three and four okay and these guys three of them have comp set one two and three in them and then set uh sorry one one and two set one and two are in this and set three and four are in these guys okay and uh this whole thing ended up costing 170 dollars uh, canadian plus 74 uh plus uh, 25 dollars in shipping plus $24 in taxes. So total came out to around $220 Canadian for three complete sets of the true crown trading cars put out by Eclipse Comics. And I figured um, as long as we're doing this, might as well read the Al Capone uh, card, right? Al Capone card, since it's also on the box, right? And it's card number seven in the series okay and these guys came out check it out came out in 1992 true, true crime series one g-men and gangsters text copyright 1992 paul allen collins and george hagel hagnor art copyright 1992 paul lee eclipse enterprises p.o box 1099 forestville california 95436 G men equals gangsta. Uh, uh, no, G men equals uh, G men is uh, the cops, isn't it? Uh, gangster man is a gangster man. No, I think G men is like FBI, right? So, you know, there's 220 cards here. We're picking one, and you know, at some point, maybe we'll read the whole thing, right? So, 
Card number seven from series one of True Crime from Eclipse Comics, Al Capone. Alfonso Capone grew up in Brooklyn slums and was thrown out of school in the sixth grade for attacking his teacher. What a badass. While working as a bouncer at the Harvard Inn for uh, Frankie Yale, uh, then head of the Union uh, Sicilian Uni uniani sicilian capone cracked many a drunk skull and was himself cut across the cheek thus acquiring acquiring the nickname scarface by 1919 capone was suspended suspected of two murders and had become uh, and had became close friends with many future mobsters including lucky luciano uh ciro terra Terra Nova and Johnny Torino. Capone was working for Torino in Chicago when Torino took over Big Jim uh, Colosimo's mob in 1920. Torino set Capone up at the Four Deuces uh, Saloon as a bodyguard, chauffeur, and brothel pitchman. Capone was Torino's right hand man, learning the business while Torino created a multi-million dollar crime syndicate employing 1,000 men. In 1925, Torino was wounded in a gang shooting. He retired a multi-millionaire, leaving Capone to inherit his remarkable criminal organization. Like any corporation, Torino's mob, Torino's mob was divided into departments. In this case, bootlegging, brothels, gambling, and contract murder. The key leaders of what would be known for the next 30 years are the Capone mob, as the Capone mob were already in place when Capone took charge. Capone was an efficient crime boss, fiercely loyal to his key men. He often continued gang wars rather than turn a single hitman over to the enemy for retribution. He was the first mobster to court reporters, occasionally uh, occasionally even holding press conferences he would need all his skill to survive the next four years as the torino o'brien Tori torio o'banian feud gave rise to the bloodiest gang war in u.s history see card eight peter von fratzus peter von fratzus we have peter von fratzus here peter von fratzus Look at that slim mustache, right? G-men, there we go, Alaga. G-men is government men, government agents. Yeah, cool, thank you. So pretty cool, huge history here, huge history here. And what I'll do, I'll check to make sure some of these boxes he's put them in, they're broken, unfortunate, see that? so i'll have to be careful with these i might have to visit a comic book store and get some sleeves and stuff for these but we've got four sets uh we've got three sets gang and and what are we gonna do with these tests the stuff what are we gonna do with the stuff gang we we are going to take one of these sets there's set series one two three and four we'll break these up and auction off each of the sets in yearly comic book auctions so i get to have two sets complete sets and we'll auction off um series one series two series three and series four in different packs as auctions sound good sound good that's our comic book haul gang so again we're getting some goodies for me and we're getting some goodies for you guys for a twitch yearly auction so we got uh drug war trading cars we're auctioning off uh we got crime uh trading cars we got rotten to the core trading cars and we got honey garlic honey setup that we're gonna do we'll definitely have um what do you call it uh comic books right and something else that i just got uh what did i get what i get i got uh oh yeah uh famous comic book creators trading cards right so we got some goodies uh to 
uh, to do. Uh, I'm glad we got this. I've been keeping an eye on them, and this was the best deal I could get for a bulk buy um, for a whole set. I wanted the whole set, right? I wanted the whole set because you know you're paying for shipping, there's taxes and stuff like this. But if I bought the set separately, I would have to buy, pay shipping four times, and it was going to kick up the price for these. So two hundred twenty dollars Canadian for three sets that comes out to like seventy three dollars, seventy four dollars per complete set of these which is pretty good which is pretty good canadian of course canadian of course right 